79 photos were submitted by Wichita State students into the competition and narrowed down by two local judges to 32. The selected 32 photos were then put on display at the Radican Student Center Art Gallery. Almost 80 people filled the art gallery before the award ceremony on March 27th. Some were just admirers of art, and others were friends and family of the competitors. Courtney Holmes brought her grandmother to see her two selected photos. She's so very supportive, and she was so excited when I told her that I made it in the top 25, so it's really exciting, and she's here with me tonight. Her grandmother especially loved her antique sunset photo. To see your fascination with, with the background of the sunset and this beautiful windmill is kind of nice. Antique Sunset was entered into the digital category. The other three categories of the competition were black and white, color, and digitally manipulated. Gloria Beatty had a black and white photo yesteryear selected. She awaits along with the other competitors for the award ceremony to begin. I'm looking forward to see who the winners actually are and, and the artwork in here is great. At 6 p.m., the art center was shut down and the winners were announced. And now it's time to announce the winners of the 30th Annual Exposure Photography Competition. Afterwards, the Art Center was reopened, displaying ribbons next to the winning photographs. James Seymour won Best Overall Photo. I was really excited and I was really relieved. I've been pins and needles on week, uh, waiting for the judging to happen, and uh, I'm really excited. One award, however, the Audience Choice Award, is still to be announced. Viewers of the art gallery got a chance to vote for best photo until the end of the week. On Monday morning, 57 votes were tallied up, and the winner is Cafe Mogul. Congratulations, Raymond Dawson, and to all who participated in this year's exposure photography competition. Dorothy Taylor, Studio B.